welcome back. Okay, wait, I have to go get the items I already stole out of here by the side of my bed, hidden. It's my hiding place, hold on. Got it, all right, we'll just start with this. So <laughs> I made an order like two days ago on Thrive because your girl was out of her jelly and that's just not gonna cut it. I panicked a little bit, but I gotta say it came in two days. Thrive's usually really quick, but I was very impressed and thankful. <laughs> I got my jam. I did, but I ordered a couple other items too, and they were doing like a 20% off sale too. So I think this whole thing was like 40 bucks. It really wasn't much at all. Uh, so I splurged and got myself some candy as one does. But uh, again, if you're not familiar with Thrive, totally linked below. I've been a member now for four-ish years, I think now. I love it. And you guys know I have my favorite go-to blueberry jelly. It's like a fruit spread, they call it, but basically jelly for my PB&Js, you know. So I thought I'd show you what I got first. And I posted this on Instagram and you guys aren't team black licorice, I hear. <laughs> a lot of people don't like it. I love it, I do. But I got the Yum Earth Organic Licorice Gluten-Free Black Licorice. So they're these tiny little bites. I mean, I'll have one. I have to say, flavor on point. If you like it, you'll like it. However, the texture of this little guy is real hard. And you guys know I can handle the chewy candy, but it's hard. It's real hard. I kind of love it, but it's kind of not great too. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, I think there's better out there if you're looking for this flavor. It's hard. <laughs> anyway, next one I got. Although I thought Skittles weren't technically vegan, but then I Googled it after I tried these, these little giggles, and they are. That's what it says. What am I thinking of that's like Skittles then that's not? I don't know, but these are basically a, by Yum Earth again, the organic giggles, chewy candy bites. They're like Skittles, they are. And I mean, I had a handful, they're good. You can pretty much see they're, they're like Skittles. I'd say a little softer compared to that, especially. It's a Skittle, it's really good. So I got those. I'm gonna go and put those back up by my bed. Nate doesn't know about those. <laughs> anyway, okay. Again, if you haven't gotten anything from Thrive before, I will tell you they use like minimal plastic to package their things, but they pack everything good, but they'll use a lot of like paper products to do it. A lot. So, one of the other places that I'm able to find my late July jalapeno lime chips is Thrive, which we love. Sometimes they do run out though. I hate that. <laughs> These are the best chips ever, ever. One of you let me know that you saw it again at Costco and they used to have them. And I've always told you guys that too. Huge, huge bag. I have not been able to find them. Sorry, I'm still Skittle and licorice in my mouth. <laughs> I've not been able to find them for months. Hope they brought them back because I will definitely stock up because yeah, I didn't get one bag. I didn't get two bags. I didn't get three. I got four. <laughs> They're my favorite. I have them basically every day with my wraps for lunch. I love them. I stocked up kind of recently at Sprouts and got like six bags. They're gone. Yep. Anyway, and then I got two boxes here of some cereal. I've had this before, because in fact it was in my like previous purchases tab. And uh, I got the Nature's Path. I love their cereals, they're really good. The Sunrise Crunchy Vanilla one. I'm telling you, this is that time of the year too. I mentioned this on my last haul where we do a lot of cereal bowls. Now typically we'll kind of make them ourselves with like apple, banana, um, a little sprinkle of granola from Safe and Fair, uh, and kind of keep it simple that way, and cinnamon, and just like plant milk on top, so, so good. But sometimes you just want real cereal too. And then I got the Corn Puffs uh, Gorilla Munch. They have this in a peanut butter flavor too, but I don't know how it's possible. My kid hates peanut butter. How does that even happen? <laughs> Especially for me who 
lives off of peanut butter, but I got the corn ones for him. That's good though. It is. Okay, I think that's everything. All right, like I said, they pack stuff really, really well. I save all this too. Uh, just if I need to ship things out, it's awesome. So got some of the strawberry jam. This is my all time favorite, but in blueberry, I have those too. But Nate really likes the strawberry one too. They have it in peach. They have it in like a super fruit blend. What else they have? They have another one too. They're really, really good, but I just love the blueberry one. I've mentioned this so many times. This has been like a staple for over a year now. One tablespoon is 30 calories, but essentially what makes it unique is there's no added sugar to it. Yes, there's sugar from the fruit in it on its own, but again, no added like cane sugar to it. So for example, this one is organic white grape juice concentrate, organic strawberries, apple pectin, and ascorbic acid, citric acid, got it. That's it, and I love them. They're delicious and they are not unsweet by any standpoint at all. So it's just my go-to. I love it. And that one is my favorite. So I bought four. <laughs> I got two of the strawberry and four of the blueberry. That's what's in these ones. And then, yeah. Okay. So there's that. And then again, recently on our last vegan cuts box that we did do for March, they had that nitro by Rise coffee drink. And I had mentioned, I was not typically a fan of those, but that one in particular was made with an oat milk and it was really, really, really good. And I saw that they had by Califia Farms, which I love their brand typically. And this one does have like no sugar in it and far less calories than that Rise one. Uh, so I got a couple of these to try for Nate and I. It's the unsweetened black and white. So it does have oat milk in it, but there's no, again, no sweetener to it which personally I prefer. I know a lot of people love sweet coffee. I get it, it's probably more popular than it is not, but I think we're gonna like these. We will see. So it's nitro latte with oat milk. Thought I would try it out, but that was my little haul. Gotta hide some of this stuff. I take a bag of chips, my candy back upstairs. That's right. <laughs> anyway, thought I'd share it with you guys. Again, it is linked below. Huge, huge fan. You can find a lot of these items um, at definitely less prices than other places. Um, and then, of course, it's just really convenient that it ships to your door, you know? Anyway, big fan. Hi, guys. So I actually just got home, and at my I did a Sprouts order. That'll be up tomorrow for you guys, but sneak peek. I got this. And uh, it, was er it was done earlier than it was supposed to be. I did, like, the online grocery pickup thing where they bring it out to your car, and it was supposed to be done like right now. And it was done like an hour ago almost. And I was finishing up on a run. So, you know, <laughs> haven't stopped, but I went and picked it up and it was actually good timing because now I'm hungry. And I got their vegan top salad with sesame dressing. I've had this before, but it's been a while. And I thought I would share it with you, chat with you guys a little bit. And then I also got an order in about two days ago and I just had, I had a chance to share it with you guys okay hold on. from old navy for some like kind of summery clothes and i thought i would share them with you if you're looking for it too it's warming up <laughs> and you might need some new items okay i'm the person that these little tomatoes ugh, ugh, don't like it it's not good <laughs> all right and then these cucumbers i'll have a few but not like too many it's just not not necessary Kim, what's left? But if you have not seen the salad, it is really good. It's a sesame dressing, and then it's got quinoa, broccoli, uh, garbanzo beans, sunflower seeds, cucumber, tomato, and then a bunch of greens. It's really, really good. And then plastic fork because I'm not perfect and I love eating things with plastic. I do. Don't ask. Just a little bit. I'm not a big, I used to like love dressing, like a ton of it, you know? And I don't now, I don't know why. I'm making a mess, I'm hungry. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, how are you guys doing? Grab yourself a snack, let's eat together. Let's do the thing. Um, I'm, I'm really happy with my order that I did make from uh, Old Navy, except for a couple items. And that's why I want to share it with you too, because you might be eyeballing these things. I think they're kind of new, like to their, you know, lineup for spring, summer clothes. But one of them is like totally 
runs big in comparison to the other one and they're the same size. So point that out to you. Let me show you the ones that I'm really liking so far first and then we'll compare them. So again, Old Navy, I'll link them below if I can for you guys. This is their Go Dry line, which I think a lot of their things are called that. So that doesn't really help. Uh, Old Navy Active. Nope. Okay. Give me a name. I'll link it. But they're these shorts. And I would say that they're kind of, they're like running shorts. But for me personally, I'm, I, I would just wear them around too, you know? Uh, and I got the camo ones and I got some black ones. And then they do come with like the lining in them too. I'll just put it in the food. But I really, really like these. I got them in a medium. And I would say that they are not too big, but definitely comfortable. So if you're a medium, normally I would say stick with this and they're gonna be very comfy. But if you want them tight, size down for sure. But I'm really happy with them. They do have a drawstring, so you know you can tighten them up a little bit. And the only thing is, is I would say they're a little bit short, but not like super, super short, but I'm really liking these so far. I put on the black ones already, but then because I am someone who doesn't normally really wear short shorts, not really, <laughs> um, I wanted to get these ones that were a little bit longer and you can see that they are definitely longer and then they do have the, do they? No. Yes. No. Am I good at this, guys? No, they don't have like the lining in them, but they do have pretty deep, like meshy pockets in them. But here's the thing, and again, I'll link them below because I think there's pockets on the back too, that I will really like these, but my friends, these run, like I can't even make them work. They run too big and these do not, well, they have the internal like drawstring, but even still, even if I use that and like tightened them up, it would be so bunchy. Like, I mean, they seriously like kind of fall off. Let's compare the waistband real quick. And I wouldn't, I'm not, no, I'm kind of between a small and medium. Sometimes you guys know, it just depends on brands too. But yeah, look at that. It's totally different. And they're both mediums, you know? So I wanna mention that. I think they're really comfy and they're nice and they're the same material otherwise, but yeah, they run a lot bigger. So I'm either gonna return them uh, or exchange them for a size smaller and hopefully one size down will be fine because I got them in this like beigey tan color too. And then got myself some biker shorts. I don't really normally get them, but I haven't worn them like to work out yet, but I did try them on and they're super comfy, I have to admit. And they remind me a lot of the ones I'm wearing now. In fact, of those like Skecher ones, you guys know I really, really like. Uh, so I have high hopes and they're pretty cheap. So I got some of those. And then I just got a couple shirts too. I think I might even have these already, but they're so cheap. They just have like a little pocket on the front there. They run pretty big though too. This Again, all of this is in a medium. So I would say size down if you do want it to be a little bit more snug. Uh, but you can always kind of like tie them up and stuff too. So I got two of those as well, just a gray and a black because I don't really do color. <laughs> anyway, that's my little haul for you guys. I think the shorts are going to be great though. I do I, once I get the appropriate size for those longer ones. But I like the other ones a lot warming up my friends it is and you know it's kind of I've been thinking about this for like the last last five or six days now and it's kind of like food <laughs> I always tell you guys if I see something on tv or someone mentions a serpent certain food and it sticks in my brain for more than 20 minutes I have to go get it it's just what it is or find some something very similar because I just got to do it I want to share something that has been sticking in my brain this whole week. And normally I would, you know, hear stuff like this, take it in, and then, you know, move forward from it, right? But some reason it's just sticking with me and I want to share it. But I'm also not really the person, the channel, if you will, that 
I share my story. I share my journey, my experience with, you know, the weight loss aspect, the fitness side of things, but I don't, I don't talk about other people and what they're doing or, you know, let's critique what they're doing or not doing. It's just not me. And this is not doing that either. Cause again, that's not me, but this story from a friend of mine, it just really stuck with me. And I'm like, you know what? It's that time of year. And I feel like so many of us can relate probably to it and it breaks my heart. And I just want to give you maybe not truly like advice, but just some food for thought. If you struggle with some of this too, let me tell you the story. Again, a friend of mine posted on his Instagram. This was last weekend. I guess originally, I'm going to paraphrase a little bit here, but originally he had plans for Saturday to get together with some friends safely and stuff. You know, it wasn't no, no big party bash or anything like that, but where we are, and I'm sure for many of you too, as the seasons are changing, you know, it's warming up and, you know, it was going to be, I don't know if it was truly like a pool party. I don't think it was that or, you know, going and swimming and stuff, but where you were going to be outdoors and wearing, you know, less because it's, it's hot, it's hot out, you know, and he hadn't put on, you know, his summer attire since last summer and was really excited to finally go do something, you know, and went to go find what outfit and he, nothing fit. And, you know, with the last year, the way that it was for so many people, like, you know, I think we all still had our ebbs and flows with weight and adjusting to whatever workout regimen we did currently have before this all happened. But anyway, he, he just had a moment, you know, and I think sometimes, you know, we sometimes, I think we, you know, we have the denial times in life where we you know, we know that there's, we, we know we've gotten maybe put on a few pounds, but we're also like, oh, it's not that much. It's not that much. And then we avoid the scale and it's not that much. And that's what we do. Denial. And then when you finally get smacked in the face with it, and then you realize it's more than you thought, it, it just can be this like spiraling effect. And that's kind of what happened for him. It was like, you know, he couldn't fit into these clothes and you know, he weighed more than he did last year. So it wasn't even like he put on some pounds. And this guy personally was someone who had lost some weight, has always struggled with weight and had lost some. And then now we're up above this number that we started at. And he just kind of had a breakdown about it and canceled his plans, did not go, did not want to be put in the situation of not feeling comfortable physically uh, in what he had. And you know, sharing more of your body when it's this time of year. That's the part that stuck with me of like, it just broke my heart because I've been there, you know, it, it, the timing was so weird of him talking about this too. And I, I talked to him and that'll be part of my story too. But like, I, I had just hit my goal weight the day before when I shared it with you guys last Friday. It just hit it. My goal weight, where all the problems and all those feelings go all away. <laughs> and then I hear this story the next day from him. And he's such a sweetheart. He is so, I told him to, I'm like, I think you're very attractive, just as you are. I really do. He has a smile that like just lights up a room. He's one of those people that you can't be in a bad mood if you're around him. You just can't. And it just was weird timing because I was like, I get it. I get it. I, I felt this before. I'm trying to think back. Did I ever, you know, call off a plan because of feeling that just defeated? I don't think so, but I'm not going to put it past me. I might have, you know, at some point. But then I was thinking about it and I'm like, here I am now where I don't have those struggles anymore, right? I, I'm not my highest weight or I haven't put on weight. I'm now in my ideal weight. No, it doesn't go away. It doesn't all of a sudden because you have, because you have this idea when you're overweight, I, I was there, you know, that if I hit this number, 
and if I can wear a, a medium and I can wear a small now and I can be a size four or six or whatever, you think that when your size for me, my highest was an 18, that like, I'll never have to worry about those things anymore. And I won't feel that way anymore. And no one's going to be looking at me and all the feelings because we all get in our feelings. <laughs> and I'm here to tell you, because again, the timing was crazy. It's not true. We all have the days and we all go through feeling that way. And I'm here to tell you why it broke my heart is because the reality is those people that you're gonna be around, they don't care. Do you wanna know why they don't care? Because they're too worried about how they look. We're all vain in our own right. And, it, and it's not even necessarily in a negative way. It's just that's how we all feel sometimes. And we're all so worried about how we look that it's important to remember that no one is caring how you look, you know? and get out there it is not an excuse to not better your situation for the sake of your health i am not here to tell you that i never will but it's okay where you are right now to get out there and enjoy life while working on what you want to work on and because bottom line is, even still, when you hit that magic number, you're going to have days. You're going to have days where you just feel the same as you did before. But it's all in your head. And no one cares. <laughs> I know that, like, there's, like, the gym fear that all you feel like because you are overweight and you're the biggest you've ever been, that you're going to go to the gym. I know we're supposed to be eating together. Hold on. And everyone there that's super, super fit and wearing just their little crop top is going to be looking at you. I have two thoughts when I go to the gym and see someone that's super, super just leaned out fit. Oh my gosh, they must never feel that way. It's all BS. Um, then I, I ha and then you see the people that are very overweight. And again, I have two thoughts and I'm not lying. When I see the person that's super, super lean now, I'm very inspired. I really am. I'm like, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Good for them. That's how I feel. And then, but I kind of almost also blow it off at, at that. And I go, that's great. That's awesome. Inspiring. Cool. Now I'm back to my, what I'm doing, caring about myself. And when I see the person that's overweight, I am just like, I don't know the best word, but like awestruck. Like I am just in awe. I love to see it. That is the truth. There is not an ounce of me that has any judgment towards that person at all. In fact, it's literally judgment. I guess that's not true. It's judgment in the best way of like that person hats off hats off to them because it's not easy. And I sometimes I'll, I'll even think of that. I'm like, I know how hard it was. I know, I know, <laughs> I know. And I'm just like so proud though that they're there, they're doing it. But then I go again back to what I'm doing. Let me just say, people aren't really looking at you. We're too worried about ourselves. It's just food for thought. And so then I reached out to him Cause I was just so bothered. I was so sad that like he didn't go because of like what everyone might think. Again, I get it. I relate, but it's so in our own minds. It really is. Cause he's just so sweet. And he was, his whole message was to share it after the day had passed, but also to just let people know it's okay. And we can get back on the horse. And that's so true. He's so right. But I asked him, I was like, are you looking to lose weight? Are you, are you trying to be just at peace with where you are and that's just what it is? Or are you looking to change your current situation? And he, he is. And I was like, I think both is very, very important. If not equally important, you know, be, be confident enough in your own skin right now to know that that's where you are right now. 
because it doesn't matter. Again, you can lose 100 pounds and you're going to have days where you feel identical as you did before. It just, it's what it is. But then I asked him, I was like, so what's your plan? And here's where, again, I might have unpopular opinion on certain things, but it's not for me to persuade you one way or another. It's just, again, more of food for thought. I asked him, what is your plan? What are you, what are you looking to do? And he, I think that I should have like brought it up on here of just his exact words, but you know, he's looking to find a better balance with food and, you know, more intuitively and nothing extreme and make those adjustments, you know, and, and go one day at a time. And I was like, Oh, music to my ears. <laughs> And I made the joke to him. I was like, oh, thank God. I was, I was thinking you were gonna say keto. And <laughs> here's where I wanna be clear though. I actually even follow and have some friends personally who do keto and have lost a hundred pounds and are successful and love every second of it. And I say, go, keep going, do your thing. And so please don't mishear me on that. I am not saying don't do it, but I was so happy to hear that because he was someone, again, as many of us have been in the past, at least at some point or another in our lives, where we had done something like that, where I'm going to just use the term crash diet, meaning you get quick results. But a lot of diets out there, not just keto, are, sorry, ice machine, are like that, where you do get really, really quick results and you feel like, oh, I just lost 20 pounds in a month and I'm on top of the world, yay. And although I think that it can be such a motivator for so many people to get the ball rolling, I think that's the main idea probably behind it even, but it doesn't really, in my opinion, give your mind time to compute what just happened to your body. Your mind didn't do it that fast. It didn't. It needs that time as you lose weight gradually to catch up and to understand the ebbs and flows of losing weight. And, you know, I feel like so many people want that quick result. I've been there, I totally have been there, but it's just not worth it. I think that people really hear the word restriction and automatically go, nope, I don't want anything restrictive at all because that's not good. And so when you hear things like, you know, keto, Jenny Craig, Weight Watchers, any of them, <laughs> They don't, they don't talk about those diets in a restrictive manner. So people automatically want to gravitate towards that because you get results and it's not restrictive. When the reality is that's not actually true, but it's just how we think. Now, I am not saying I think restriction is what it should be. That's just how you do it. To some extent, yes, but all those diets out there are doing that too. They just don't advertise it that way. And in fact, I think that they are actually doing it very restrictive. And that's the part I have a problem with, with a lot of those diets is in order to get those fast results, the reality is, is that you're on a very significantly restrictive calorie intake. And I don't think that that's what it's about. I just don't because as soon as you eat something that is not on that plan and you put on 10 pounds in two days, um, although a lot of it is not real weight, but that's what can happen. And all of a sudden your brain does not know how to process that and you spiral out from that. And so I just am not personally a fan. I know there's a lot of places too, even when I was at the gym, I was at Originally, when I got a personal trainer, they even did some challenges and stuff like six week program challenges and whoever loses the most percent of body fat. It wasn't like a true number. It was actual based on percentage, um, you know, one and got money and got whatever. Right. I never did them. I never did them because I wasn't ready for that. When I went to that gym because I knew I needed to change my life. I didn't want a quick fix because I knew that my brain could not process that when it was over. And then all of a sudden I start adding more 
normal foods into my diet and the scale goes like this, I knew I wouldn't be ready for what that would feel like. I think personally that, you know, even just taking what it is you do now and cutting it back just a little bit, just a little bit and going the slow way and going where maybe even just like half a pound a week, which sounds like, oh, I'll be here forever. <laughs> well, I promise you won't. Like it really will add up over time very quickly, in fact, and it'll be real change in your mind too. And that way, when you put on one pound, it's not that serious. And you know what to do to do what you need to do to get right back onto it again, you know, and not do this extreme. So I don't personally really have a huge negative connection to the word restriction, but it's because I just see it as a different word than being like, a thousand calorie deficit a day. You'll never see me do it. It'll, I never did. I never did, ever. The most I've ever done was five, 500. And that's pretty like normal if you're looking to diet, but I would actually say 250. I even told my friend that was, you know, struggling. I was like, 250, that's it, that's it. If you do that successfully, it's half a pound a week. There you go, you know? And you're on your way and you'll feel a lot better along the way, you know, and you'll know what you're doing, you'll learn and how food really isn't the enemy. And it's so funny too, because coming from, you know, people might go, Kim, you're a hypocrite. You're sitting there as a vegan and you're talking about, you don't believe in restriction. You're a vegan, you restrict. No, I don't, <laughs> I don't. I eat, if not more, uh, fats, carbs, proteins, as I ever did before. I just get it from somewhere else. But I do not cut out any of the true nutrients that I think our bodies really thrive on. I don't do it. And you can get there. It took me three years to lose 75 pounds, and I wouldn't have it any other way now. I really wouldn't. But again, doesn't mean that I don't still have my days where I struggle and feel like I'm still where I started. It's crazy, I know. It's far less. I am very happy. I am very comfortable. I'm very, I am feel great, but I still have my days, you know? And I just want to share that with you as we go into the warmer months. Get out there. Get out there. Go to the gym. If you're not going to the gym because you think someone's looking at you, they're not, or they're very, very inspired by you. That's the truth. And live your life. Make small adjustments that are going to have lasting effects. I know we all say that, but really, that's where it's at, you know? But again, I'm just sometimes leery of sharing sometimes my thoughts like that because I don't ever want anyone, anyone to think that I'm coming down on their particular diet plan choice. Because again, I do mean it wholeheartedly that if you are someone that found a lifestyle like through keto or something and you're feeling great, you're living your best life, you doing your thing and you're happy, then please continue on because I want you to feel that way. That's the goal, <laughs> you know, but I just don't think majority of people that have a significant amount of weight to lose as I did too, you know, typically end up with that result without really at least going way up again because they fell off. You know, I'm just saying, you know, I gotta eat. Don't be afraid of food. Anyway, this is probably super long now. It's just weighed on my mind. It was the timing of it. Um, I always tell Nate too, I like, I want so badly, but my biggest goal of sharing what I do share, I just want people to feel good. I do. And I know sometimes it feels like it's completely out of reach when you've let yourself go to a certain point, like I did too. And it was just, I never thought, I never really thought that I could get to a really healthy place and feel that way. But you can and just do it slow and enjoy the process and learn along the way and 
learn about food, learn, truly learn about what it's giving you. And that makes it less scary to incorporate it, you know? Anyway, what's my spiel? I love you guys. I do. I'm going to eat this up, spare you my chewing. And then I will see you tomorrow for a haul. I got some new items. I got a new creamer. This matters. And it's in a white chocolate flavor. I have high hopes. Anyway, love you guys. Life is